What would you name the dog? I don't even remember what the dog name was because the nigga just was like, hey, yo, shorty, uh, I think his dog, you know, Boomer, the, the, the yeah, tattoo yeah, yeah, that was yeah. back, he, his dog had babies. So, like, I was living at his his man's crib at first, Butler, who was close to DMX now, or whatever. Boomer passed away. This had to be another dog. No, no, no. This, well, I guess, I don't know. There's something in the bloodline or whatever from, you know, because yeah. you can name the record label Bloodline. So, oh. I don't know if it was from the same bloodline of dogs, mm. but he gave me, like, the the baby from you know what I'm saying yeah. one of his dogs or whatever right. and he was like yo shorty uh I want to ever see you without a dog like take the dog everywhere the dog's a dog I'm like all right nigga like <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean you know what I'm saying like so like even early today <laughs> I'm riding with, with my with my business partner Billy J early, and I'm like, damn, that's the old Def Jam building right there, the Universal building that used yeah. to be like off Eighth Ave or whatever. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, oh yeah. shit, 50th and 8th, 50th bro, bro. That nigga, I used to have a dog in that bitch, bro. Like I'm talking about a dog be shitting in front bro, of Leo's wow. office. DMX was so lit, nigga. They would say nothing to me, bro. And I used to go to Def Jam. I used to be with Murder Inc. with John and them. I used to shoot dice with them niggas all day, smoke blunts with them niggas. My weed man would pull up yeah. with me. That's when they had them glass jars with the weed inside. Guess the weed little, man was uh, Hakeem. Yep, Hakeem. Hakeem was light the weed man. With the freckles yeah. or whatever. Yeah. He used to deliver all the weed, weed to us or whatever. And I used to just get drunk and high in the studio. I mean, excuse me, in the office and just go up. I Def remember Jam Jazz was a party. Young, how, all old, these how old were you? 13, thing? bro. Def Jam was a party up in there. We used to have mad, mad mm -hmm. fucking fun in there. They didn't stop you from smoking. Yep. If, the, if the security came while we were smoking, Leo would be like, get the fuck out of there. They making all the money downstairs. Yep. Let them smoke. Kevin Lyles never said anything. Let yet. them niggas, them niggas making money, you let them niggas smoke. They let Murder Inc., Rockefeller, Bloodline, whoever, y'all niggas could do whatever, nigga. You come in there, it was bitches in there. It was a party in there. Yeah. Niggas woke up every yeah. day with like, I'm coming to the label. Nah, it was like that because yeah. it was like Rock, Murder Inc., Bloodline, and then Rough Riders. Rough Riders. Riders. Mm -hmm. And I just think that niggas just used to be like, man, we going to Def Jam Builder. Like, it's up. Like, it's that up, shit bro. was up. It was headquarters, mm -hmm. literally. It was crazy, yo. Shout out to Jazz Young. Jazz yeah, was there. that's my OG. Um, um, my um, big sister. Shaka started out there. I hope Shaka was doing well. Shaka was doing radio back then. That was before he bought Luda yeah, in. Yeah, for sure. Hell Remember? yeah. Remember? Because he, he worked Luda's record, and that's how Luda came and got the deal of Def Jam. It was crazy. Yeah, I remember them moments, like yesterday. Yeah. You never put out anything on Bloodline. Yeah, I did. Did um, you? Yo, so that's what the shit that went viral. I think uh, probably like four or five years ago, like I was promoting one of my singles when I was uh, working with Atlantic and I went and did an interview with Complex or whatever and I told them how DMX stole my first piece of pussy. Uh, have y'all heard that story? No. Nah. Yeah, no, hold on, hold on. I, I remember pieces of this story. Yeah. So but then, well, run it back. Give, give us more details, so more ignorance. I was a virgin at the time, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, at, um, I, you know, like, well, man. <laughs> <laughs> so DMX brought You're me 13, to, right? Yeah, like okay. so, so DMX brought me to Toronto, Canada. He was shooting a movie Exit Wounds with Steven Seagal or whatever. And we were up there and I'm talking about they was treating DMX like the mayor of Canada. Like I never seen no shit like this. Like when we did the song Do You, it was on Funk Master Flex album. Irv Gotti, it's my first time meeting Irv Gotti too. He came to Toronto or whatever. He produced the record and mm -hmm. fucking like this nigga X had like the illest shit going on. Like we had police escorts. The police go back to the hotel and grab two pounds of weed for X, bring it to the studio. You know what I'm saying? Like, we was up there. He was living crazy. So yeah. we went to the club one night, and um, it's my first time really in a club. But, you know, like, I was playing a different level than X because, you know, X love to play pool. So, like, everybody was surrounding him. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a part of the entourage. They took me upstairs and had me just on a little vibe or whatever. So I ended up meeting a little chick, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I'm in there, and it's time for everybody to go. You know, they following out with X, I'm grabbing, yo, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Come with yeah. me. I get in the car, it's my first time finger fucking a girl, you know what I'm saying? Scratch and sniff, smell what the pussy like. I'm like, yeah, it's going down. How we, old is this chick? Oh, I don't know. Way older than me. She was in a club. Yeah. Oh, so, okay. uh, I'm sure it wasn't no 18 year old club that DMX yeah. is so, in, you know so, what I'm saying? So, 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 so how did you get to the finger pop? Because we in the back seat of the whip now. You know, I'm a part right. of the entourage. I'm the young boy. So, like, I pulled her in and then she whipped me and we in the back seat. You know what I'm saying? I'm right. grabbing titties. You know what I'm saying? Grabbing ass, kissing on it. You was know you what I'm saying? Nah, I was loaded. I told you I was already on the liquor. I was already on the weed. The whole <laughs> shit, bro. Like, it was right. a whole movie. Like, but it's still your first time? I was little DMX, bro. 
you gotta understand, like I was yeah. DMX's protege. It wasn't like like I was the little dog, you right. know. So to me, it was kind of like whatever, you know. It's what I'm saying it was my time, things. right? Yeah, and fucking, I never forget we were staying at the Sutton Place Hotel. I don't know if that shit still exists in uh, Canada and Toronto now. We get back there, me and DMX, we on the penthouse floor. Like, he put me in a room right next to him or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like, how you get to the, the penthouse floor and, like, the, the big room got the double doors that's all the yeah. way at the end of the hallway. Well, my room right next to his. Yeah. So, he, you know, when you get to the hotel, the artist goes up first with the security and the entourage. Wait, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let him get settled. So, I get up there and um, the nigga X wasn't even around me. Like, X was in his room already. Like, I might have waited, like, 15 minutes. Like, I might have smoked a cigarette, you know what I'm saying? Like, wild out in front of the hotel with the bitch. And um, I get to my room, and I'm literally, like, putting a key card in my room. And nigga, X door swing over. Yeah. I'm like, he like, yo, 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 Jordy, you good? I'm like, yeah. He like, hey, uh, hey, yo, ma, I think you, left, think you left your purse in my room. Now, mind you, we met these bitches at the club. <laughs> <laughs> they, she never been to his room. They never been to the hotel or nothing. And she was like, I think I did. <laughs> oh, yo, she's scum, yo. <laughs> she made a beeline around me. He, he looked at me like, Shorty, Shorty, I'll talk to you later. Shorty, don't worry about it. Yo. Closed the door and took my first piece of pussy. She ever found her purse? <laughs> <laughs> what stopped you from saying, no, she didn't? <laughs> Nigga was my idol, bro. Yeah. I just told you I had my dad buy me flesh and my flesh blood and my blood for, for Christmas. Wow. Like, that was on my Christmas, Christmas list, list of gift. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I want this CD. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this must have been amazing for you to go from listening to this music to being in the mix, to, mix of it. It happened and fast. Being, fast. And being, like, like, uh, uh, like, like taken in by the hottest artists in the world at the time. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, my demo was so fire. Like, Bugs, No ID, and Kanye West did my demo. Like, I was rapping on the Jesus Walks beat on my demo before it became Jesus Walks with Kanye. So you hmm. motivated Kanye to do Jesus No, Walks? I did not. That's okay. a, that, nah, we not nah, running nah, with that. Nah, just nah, 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 I was a nah, young boy, nah, but you know how nah. back in the day niggas had beat CDs or whatever? And my, yeah. and, my, and my mentor, Bugs, happened to have a bunch of beat CDs with all Kanye beats. So it was the, the beat for Jesus Walks was on my demo. And then Talib Kweli, his first collaboration with Kanye, it was like, Wanna Be Good to You or something like that. That beat was on my demo. Like, I had all heat from no idea. Like, I was rapping over all these different beats. And that's how I Shout got Kanye. I rapped on to Kanye beats. Nah, for sure. Shout out to Ye. Them Ye beats be making it around, boy. This is when Free was managing him. This hot fuck, trap trapper turned smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to see.